Hi, hello, welcome, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to Recent Reads! That was very aggressive. <laughs> So I am going to talk about three books that are like sort of backlog books of Jenny Colgan. So it's a full on Jenny Colgan video again, sort of, I don't care. So I'm going to try to make this very short and sweet and well short. Let's, let's be honest here. So West End Girls. The streets of London are paved with gold. Allegedly. They may be twin sisters, but Lizzie and Penny are complete opposites. Penny is blonde, thin and outrageous. Lizzie is quiet, thoughtful and definitely not thin. The trait they do share is the desire to do something with their lives. And as far as they are concerned, the place to get noticed is London. Out of the blue they discover that they have a grandmother living in Chelsea and when she has to go into hospital they find themselves flat sitting on the King's Road. But as they soon discover it is not as easy to become an it girl and West End boys aren't just all like Hugh Grant. You know the 90s version of Hugh Grant we're talking about. So Book number two. Do you remember the first time? Also known as the boy I loved before. <laughs> While attending her best friend Sashi's wedding, Flora realizes that this nine to five cookie cutter life is exactly what's in store for her. While it might be okay for Sashi, it was certainly not what she imagined for herself when she was 16. So when her boyfriend proposes to her during their reception, Flora makes a wish to go back and do it all yet. The next morning she wakes up and realizes she has been giving the ultimate do-over and she is now 16 again. So as Flora navigates school, first love, new and old, and discovers what it's really like to make adult choices. Will she stay in her new body or will she find her way home? So basically it's still the same time but she uh, has kind of gone back in time but it's still the same time so her best friend is a adult. So for the third book uh, it's where have all the boys gone? Where have they gone? <laughs> so, faced with the harsh reality that there are 25,000 more women than men in London, Katie's dating prospects are an all-time low. While she's glad that it's not a man's world anymore, it wouldn't hurt for there to be just a few more eligible bachelors around. More likely to get murdered than married, according to gleeful media reports, Katie resigned herself to the fact that there is no sex in the city and you know heads for the hills or you know the Scottish Highlands to be more exact. So despite the fact that she's never been one for muddy rain boots and the fact that Fairlish is in the middle of nowhere, the tiny town does have one major drawback. Men. Lots and lots of men. So life in the country may not be one big roll in the hay, but now that Katie's taken the plunge, can she turn her back on the lights of Fairlish? A return to city life? These are the questions. These are the questions. So what all of these books have in common, besides being written by Jenny Colgan, are that they feel very young. As in, someone very young wrote these books. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, and to be fair, Jenny Colgan was younger when she wrote these books. Also, to be honest, it might just be a product of when they were written and when they were published. So I am a very, very big Jenny Colgan fan, so saying all this hurts a tiny, tiny bit, but it is what it is, 
and it is fine. To be fair though, had I read these books before I'd read more of her books or you know, even more books <laughs> or even books in general, I might have had a different point of view of these books. And don't get me wrong here, they are good but they are a bit too preteen, girly, giggling sort of a deal and it wasn't exactly what I was expecting of a book from her or several books as, as it were but still, a good time, a funny little rom-com chick flick, something um, yeah, I don't regret reading them, they were a fast read, good time good time so yes that is it for me today thanks so much for watching and i shall see you all next time until then take care bye bye